Jank Odo moment. Yeah. Let's talk to him. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I shall. I should explain. I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, uh, dash mean, nasty mean. I guess you could say. And yet, they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Let's go, Aaron. Let's go. Okay, so we made it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's just get this done. Let's have a good battle. Um, I have six Pokemon. He has five Pokemon. He starts off with his Dustox. Now, I already did a practice run of the Elite Four, and I did pretty good, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to use Flamethrower on this Dustox. So, this should one-hit KO it, but if it doesn't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's level 63, so, oh, no, sorry, it's level 53. I thought that was 63 for a second, but it's only 53. Okay, the dust deck goes down after one frame through. Okay, cool. Next up is uh, Beautify. I'm going to I'm gonna keep Inferno in, and the Beautify is going to come out. I think the Beautify is also level 53. And we used, to have a lot of, we used to have a lot of experience with fighting dust ducks and beautifies, uh, thanks to Team Galactic, because they always used to have them. At least at some point in the game. So, there you go. This should this flamethrower should knock it out, but we'll see. It does knock it out. Awesome. Cool. There we go. That beautify goes down. And then, his big guns is probably going to come out next. Yep, his big gun, his Drapion. Yeah, I'm gonna switch Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to um, Drago. Because Drago knows Earthquake. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Earthquake. I know, I'm pretty sure it won't want to KO unless it's a critical hit. Because this thing's Poison Dark type. The only weakness is actually Ground type moves, which I have Earthquake. So I'm gonna um, put it down in the reds, hoping that it's Citrus Berry will activate. Because all of the Elite Four's best Pokemon have Citrus Berries as a health item. So they automatically kick in when they are at low health. So let's go for the Earthquake. And that way I can just like faint it with the Dragon Claw after that. Because it'll probably uh, restore it up to like uh, yellow HP or yellow, the yellow stage of the HP bar. So this probably won't want to kill it, which kind of stinks. This is level 57 too, so it's the size of a Pokemon, of course. And there goes the Citrus Berry. My plan worked out great. That way, it's ba it's barely in, it's kind of in the it's in the middle of the yellow zone for HP wise. So it's um oh man, Ice Fang, I forgot he had that. That's super. That's pretty damn super effective against Drago. Okay, but like I I can hopefully just go for another Earthquake, which I'm gonna do that, and it should knock it out. That way he didn't have a chance to heal with his with Drapion's uh, HP yet. Still in the red zone, because if it was still in the red zone, or ended up being in the red zone still, it, he would have healed up with like a full store. So I, that worked out really good, except for Drago did take a big hit with the ice fang and all that, but that's okay. Heracross is next, okay. So keep in mind that Heracross is bug and fighting type, so it's four times weak to flying type moves. So Send out the flying type or use a flying type move because they it will really do wonders for you. Now keep it, I do remember this Heracross knowing Stone Edge, which is a very powerful rock type move, so it covers its weaknesses for flying types. But uh, I think this thing's probably faster than Karen, honestly. Let's see if it is. I'm pretty sure it's faster. Yeah, it's gonna get a close combat off of off of Karen. So yeah. So um it's being neutral effective, it does oh that's critical hit, isn't it? Nope it's not. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I thought I was only gonna do go on the like the deep the end of the green stage for the HP bar. But yeah, the um getting its special defense and physical uh defense uh well word after that close combat kinda helped. But yeah, I just we can one shot with that area, so which is really nice. And as the last Pokemon is a Vespi Quinn. So let's switch back to um Switch back to Inferno, I guess. And just to make sure this Vespi Quinn doesn't give me any trouble with like trying to stay uh, not fainted when I hit it, the super effective move, like a fire type move, I'm gonna use Foil Blitz on it. So, yeah. Inferno will have to take some recoil damage, but it should be worth it. You know, this Vespi Quinn's level 30, 54, I'm also 34. 
And keep in mind, only female combis have all been de Vested Quinn. No, no male combis have all been de Vested Quinn. So, if you're wondering that, there you go. And it fainted, nice. Yeah, we defeated Lee for Aaron. I will now c concede defeat. But I think you came to see how great Bucky Pokemon. I hope you enjoy your eyes with your forget battling in a deep and complex affair. Jeez. Okay, I got um double the prize money there because Karen was in battle. I couldn't read most of your dialogue in battle, but I can read your dialogue outside of battle, which is nice. I lost with the most beautiful Pokemon, beautiful and toughest of the buck Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let me hear. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Uh, anyway, go on to the next room. The three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. 